Hello beautiful people, no super here and happy 2017. Welcome to the new year everybody and I do hope that this year will be everything that you wished for and everything that you hoped for and more and I pray that God will grant you the desires of your heart. So, what's our first video of 2017 going to be about? Depending on which video comes first, either this makeup tutorial or this foundation review. But I'm going to be reviewing the dun 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 Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place makeup. So I'm pretty sure you guys have been hearing about about this foundation there's been quite the rave about this foundation everybody claims to love it so I decided to go out and purchase it and I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys to tell you whether or not it's worth the 525 rand that I spent on it so if you'd like to see the review of this beautiful foundation then do keep watching and thank you so much for clicking play on my video I love you guys and I speak so fast I speak Whew, so fast I love you guys and God bless Alrighty, so without wasting any time, let's get right into the review of the foundation. So basically the foundation comes in this beautiful box right here. So I don't have the box with me because I threw it away right after I got the foundation. So I'm going to put a picture of it so you guys can see it. So it's a beautiful blue box with gold detailing on it. And let me read for you off my phone what says, or rather what the box says on it. So it says, 15 hours staying power, flawless all day. This worry-free, long-wearing makeup stays fresh and looks natural through heat, humidity, and non-stop activity. So those are claims and a half. So we'll have to see whether or not those are true. And it says that it won't change color, it won't smudge or come off on clothes, feels lightweight and comfortable. And lastly, now the flawless looks that you... Ooh, ooh my newsreader action stopped right in the middle but anyway it says now the flawless look you see in the morning will be the flawless look that you keep all day so those are pretty pretty big claims so i'm hoping that that foundation or rather this foundation will stand up to the test of its own beautiful description so let me show you the bottle that it comes in so the estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup comes in this beautiful beautiful frosted glass bottle so you guys can see that it's just the clear glass frosted and then it's got the gold detailing as well just like on the box and then it has this beautiful golden lid now the only issue which is a big tissue that i have with this foundation is that when you open this beautiful beautiful gorgeous lid it doesn't have a pump estee lauder mm -mm. for 525 rand how can this foundation not come with a pump so the only issue that i have with this pumpless foundation is that when you look inside the lid you can already see how much wastage of product we have inside the lid so i would have bought a 30 ml bottle but maybe like two mils of my product is stuck in my lid so i have to like fish it out at some point to use it which really sucks and then also you guys will see when i apply the foundation because i've used it before already is that when you try to pour it out on the back of your hand or onto your plate where you mix your foundation you waste a lot of product because you can't gauge how much you pour so if you make a mistake and you pour too much that's wasted so you can't put that back in the bottle now can you so the pumplessness of this foundation is what irks me the most about this packaging but otherwise the foundation packaging is absolutely beautiful so now that we're done talking about what it looks like let's get into actually using the product and see how this baby works for any foundation to look flawless and stunning all day because you know we want to give this foundation a fair chance at actually doing what it says that it actually does we need to use a primer so the primer that i use is my mac prep and prime the primer <laughs> i can't talk today i'm so sorry this is my ride or die primer and this primer is great 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 for if you want your foundation to stay all day so i'm going to start with the primer then we'll move on to pouring the foundation and using it and see how it works Okay, so I'm back and now I'm going to pour the foundation on the back of my hand. So I'm going to try my best to not pour too much product because uh, this is a medium to full coverage foundation. So I think I'm just going to do one layer of the foundation because that's actually how much foundation I typically would wear. So I don't want to go all crazy cake face because in all honesty, that's not how much foundation I wear. So if you look at the foundation, you can see that it's not very runny. Which is, which is a good thing. It's runny, but not too runny uh, for a liquid foundation, which I appreciate. So I think that's really a good thing. Ok, 
Okay, so I've worn this foundation before and it does oxidize a little bit so even if it looks a little bit light for my skin um, on the first application it's going to oxidize and go a little bit darker so you might want to consider that if you want to buy this foundation because you might get like a shade that's too dark um, for you once it's oxidized so be careful about the shade that you choose So also don't mind, um, the, there's some areas of my skin that are going to look patchy or cracky and that's because my skin is peeling. So every month or so, just depending on how much I feel that I need it, I use my Retin-A to exfoliate my skin, exfoliate in the sense that it basically peels off all the dead skin on the top layer of my skin and gives me flawless new skin underneath. So right now I'm going through the peeling process, so that is why. Um, for instance here in the center of my forehead right between my eyebrows it's gonna look a little bit like it's separating and patchy but that's just because there's a lot of dead skin there as well as on my eyelids so don't mind that it's not the foundation it's my skin so I'm done applying all of the foundation or the first layer of foundation onto my face so I went ahead and um, basically continued buffing out the foundation with my brush just by stippling and in some places swiping in circular motions or rather rubbing in circular motions to get the foundation to seep into my skin but as you can see it's managed to cover all of my blemishes and all of my imperfections and I have one even toned complexion which I absolutely absolutely love so you guys can see I mean this foundation is stunning it's beautiful it's very lightweight as the product says that it is it is very lightweight it doesn't really feel like you're wearing anything on your skin so basically this is the application of the foundation and now I'm going to go put on the rest of my face and I'm going to come back and give you guys my full review and my ideas and thoughts about the foundation in total Okay, dokes, so I did the rest of my makeup and I'm back to continue the review so again just to recap we are doing a review on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place makeup and I already told you guys what the foundation claims that it does so I'm going to tell you which boxes that it checks firstly this foundation is very long lasting so it says that it lasts for 15 hours and I wore the foundation I think two or three days ago for about let me say 10 hours and at the end of the day my foundation still looked as good as it did when I put it on the only issue that I had with the foundation was that it looked a little bit oily but that's also just due to the heat in the summer it's very very hot so obviously your foundation is going to be doing the most to try and melt off your face so I don't really attribute that to the foundation itself but to the condition of the climate but in the colder months like in June in South Africa or rather in the African continent around June um, this foundation foundation would probably stay on for the full 15 hours without having the whole separating and melting off effect but that also depends on your skin type I have a dry skin type personally so I think I'm lucky in that department that foundation generally typically doesn't melt off my face so that's the 15 hour staying power in terms of it being medium to buildable coverage that I already debunked in the beginning part of the video when I was putting on the foundation it is a medium to buildable coverage so that is a plus 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 then we're going to move on to the size of the foundation so the size of the foundation is it's a 30 mil foundation yes 30 mil foundation and I have it in the color amber honey I didn't mention that before and this in comparison to my MAC match master 7.5 which is a 35 mil foundation so this bottle is obviously bigger but and it has a pump Estee Lauder. Anyway, it's a 35 mil foundation and I've had this for about a year and a half now but that's obviously dependent on how much you use your foundation and I only typically use full coverage foundation or rather my foundation once a week when I go to church otherwise I'm only using powder or I just go barefaced so that's why my foundation lasts me a very long time but this um, product is very concentrated so even if it's not 35 mils the coverage that you get out of this in comparison to this is a lot more so even though it's 30 mils you're gonna get a lot of usage out of this product then the next thing that we're going to talk about is the matte finish as you guys can see 
my face looks pretty matte I did set my face with fix plus I did set my face with fix plus which does give you a glowy dewy finish so the glow and the dew that you can see is probably mostly from my bronzer that I used around my cheek area on my chin and my forehead and on my nose the highlighter that I used so the finish is a matte finish which as you can see is the rest of my face which also adds to the long wearing power of this here foundation so it is a very long wearing makeup and what would I give this foundation out of 10? I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. Because it really is, honestly, a really good foundation. But if you really want a foundation that's comparable to this one, you would try the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Finish Foundation. Because that foundation is bomb. And it does just about what this foundation does. Oh yes, and this foundation does not transfer, guys. Okay, well obviously not 100%. There's no foundation that will be 100% non-transferring. But it has very, very minimal transfer, which is amazing because it means that half your foundation or rather half your face won't come off when you're trying to hug people. So that is a big thumbs up. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, so I think that's about it that I can say about this foundation, but I'd give it, like I said, is an 8 out of 10. And yeah, if you're looking for a splurge, a new good foundation to splurge on, then do try the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup, and I promise you will enjoy it, especially if you've got dry skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and do stay tuned for my next foundation review, because I'm starting a new series on my channel, where I'm basically going to go through a series of foundations to review for you guys, so you guys will know what to buy or what to consider buying, rather. Yes, I think that works out better. Because the truth is, a foundation or a flawless base is really the key to having the perfect makeup. So it's pointless for me to show you anything else if we haven't got the foundation on lockdown. So I hope you guys enjoy the series. Do let me know which foundations you'd like me to try out. And if I have enough money in my pocket or if they get sent to me, I will definitely try them for you guys. So I love you all and please do keep sticking with me. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to like, comment, rate and subscribe. Peace out.